Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we return to Sharp Practice, the Road to Sterling campaign with Road to Sterling Part 2, Sterling Town. This is part two of Andre's Road to Sterling campaign, which we did a year ago. So if you want to see what happened in that, uh, you can go watch the full video. But just to sum it up, there was a British outpost that direction, a few miles out. And it was uh, set upon and overrun by Continental forces. And the British are falling back into Sterling, while the British that are already in Sterling have... Uh, their alarm has been raised and they are going to have to start scurrying around, gathering as much stuff as they can to get out of town before the Continentals arrive in force. Steve will be playing the Continentals, I'll be playing the Redcoats. Andre has written up um, some orders for us and there is one paragraph that I can read that both of us um, have access to and that sums up this mission. The King's men have regrouped in Sterling and are attempting to evacuate the town and move into Rhode Island to find a suitable place to re-establish their outpost. A small force has been left in town to cover their, their advance to the east. Rebel forces are moving in to reinforce the advance group now that the Sterling Road checkpoint has been cleared. And I will go over the British orders as I'm the British player and Steve will come in. He will go over his orders and then Andre will go over some stuff uh, by himself that we aren't supposed to know. So. British orders. The main objective is to prevent the rebels from capturing documents and supplies stored in Sterling. Of primary concern are the documents located in the headquarters building. So this is the headquarters building, the officer's quarters, and the most important documents are in there. There are other documents and items such as supplies and ammo um, spread throughout the rest of the town. So Andre will now go over where everything else is hidden. So these two buildings both have some supplies. This building is empty. The church will have some documents. This building, Travis is starting out with a unit of, I believe his uh, irregulars in there? Uh, no, just uh, regular old red coats. Oh, regular old red coats. So there's in here and there's uh, a, a document in there that can be grabbed. This is the Quartermaster's main building. It's got a document and a supply. And over here is the main munition storage barn, which is where the bulk of the supply munitions are stored. Okay, how about so Travis is going to be attempting to gather all of this stuff up, load it into wagons, and get it off the board before Steve can stop him. All right, so another thing that uh, is happening here is that I'm supposed to destroy what I cannot uh, get out of town. So Can't Andre, fall into rebel hands. Yeah. Andre has given us three tinder boxes that we can use to try to set fire to these buildings should it look like we can't get out of, can't get the supplies out. Uh, it also says, your men are tired and morale is low from the morning's defeat. Units with two or more shock that are given orders other than move, fire, take another shock on a four up. And those are for guys that are coming in over here, which that's, we'll talk about in a second. That's for everybody. Even the guys in the town? Yes, but with any luck, they won't wind up with two or more shock. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. So if they accumulate two or more shock, yes. which they can, or which we'll see in a second, some of them already have some shock on them. Um, and this is to reflect the fact that you're trying to abandon, get out of there, and these guys really don't want to still be here. They just want to exit the board and not deal with the, the uh, you know, getting shot at. Yeah. They, they could leave town now and not get shot at, but they're getting ordered they to go orders. and gather all this stuff, load all this stuff, and they're not real thrilled about it. Okay, so uh, there's an informant. Uh, he's, uh, he's informed me that the Continentals are trying to rally more militia as they advance towards Sterling just from farms along the way. He's also told me that the Indians that were at the last battle at the checkpoint are making their way this direction. There's about an 80% chance they show up or they might just say, you know what, this isn't our fight, let's just go home. Um, okay, so that's a couple things that can happen and Andre will explain that later. Okay, so victory points. So I have to get documents off the board. The only way to do that is with an officer. An officer has to uh, 
that stay in a building for four turns minus one per level of officer. Once he does that, he will gather the documents and he, he himself will have to leave and move his way off the board. So that's going to leave me short on officers should I start doing that. But they are worth quite a few points. So And that is basically one to three turns depending on the officer. Right. Uh, only a, a level two officer or higher can gather the important documents out of the headquarters. And uh, there's some wagons. So we got three wagons kind of here in the barn. Uh, they're just ready to go. As soon as they are called for, they will move to the building. Once they are loaded, they will just move off. They won't take any uh, cards or anything. They will just move once per turn automatically towards the end of the, uh, out of Sterling. Uh, as far as troops on the board to start with, the only thing I have are one group of line in that building there. And then I have a group of six light infantry hiding in the orchard. Which will not be put onto the board until Travis wishes to make their yeah, appearance Andre, known. Andre, or I mean, Steve does not know where they are. So he, yeah, so basically Steve's coming in blind. Yeah, and I don't know anything about what Steve's doing. The only thing I do know is that um, I have some forces off the board that are moving in from the uh, checkpoint. And Steve, Andre told me I have to choose how fast they move. I picked the fastest, even though it did add a bunch of shock to them. But I want to get here as fast as I can. I have no idea how long it's going to take Steve, and I have no idea really what side of the board he's going to come in on. I know if he moves as fast as he can, he'll come in behind me. But he might move in off of these long edges here as well. So I don't know that. So I don't even know what time, what turn these guys are going to show up. Yep. So at some point they're going to come in on that road down there. They're going to have three shock, two shock, two shock. A leaderless Dragoon unit, but my main man here um, uh, is Brassford. He took command of this Dragoons. He's going to come in with them. He's a level two? Three. Three. So he's going to hopefully have enough time to pull some shock um, as we move. He could pull two shock and we can keep moving. Well, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be tough. So that's kind of all I know. I don't know a whole lot. All I know is I need to get men into these buildings, start searching. I need more officers, which are, I have uh, a few more officers that I don't know where they are. They are separated and coming in individually. And I really don't know much. I'm stuck in this town with just a handful of troops wondering where the hell everyone is. And <laughs> how am I going to accomplish on? this mission? So it's perfectly uh, sums up military life. I don't know anything. <laughs> well, you, basically in town, you know that the uh, checkpoint was, was attacked over. and that a bunch of your troops uh, went off to quell the problem and they should be back for dinner here shortly. Yeah, no problem. And then last thing, victory points. So if I remove the important documents, it's five points. Any other documents from any of the other buildings is two points. Remove a wagon load of munitions is two points. That should probably be more than two points. That's a hell of a task. I'm getting all the way off the board with a wagon. Yeah. And then if I hold the entire town, then I just I get eight points. So that's that. That's all I know. I don't know a whole lot more than that, if any. So that's that, man. I don't know what else to say. I'm, say I, usually goodbye, know, Travis. I usually know more than this uh, going into a battle, but it'll be interesting. So now we'll let Steve come in. Him and Andre will go over his uh, mission and his uh, objectives, and then we'll get started. All right, so uh, the Rebels, a.k.a. the Continentals, are charging full force uh, at a run for two shock. Um, with the roadblock cleared, the road into Sterling is open. British documents and supplies are available for the taking if you can move quickly enough. Your troops are tired from the morning fighting, but are willing to continue. The remnants of your Indian allies have returned to their camp. Advancing into Sterling can be done at the walk, double time, or run. And I've elected to run in the hopes that if I take two shock, Travis will take two shock. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case, but I'm banking well, on it. Well, if not, uh, you can poke them from behind. I've decided to uh, leave the cannon behind. It's not super effective, uh, especially in, uh, with a lot of... Uh, cover. Uh, I get victory points for capturing documents uh, from two to four victory points, so I'll run into town here and search uh, any building that's convenient. Um, hopefully I'll also capture some supplies at uh, plus one per wagon and 
I'm not super uh, confident on getting casualties uh, or capturing officers, um, and I will try to prevent buildings from being destroyed. And uh, my force here consists of the militia that was left over from uh, the previous battle, and that is led by Mr. Smith. The uh, skirmishers have decided to delay a turn and try to recruit additional skirmishers, which is going to be this uh, militia group here. And then this is what's left of my line. And this is uh, Nelson, who's a level 3 leader. And... What did I forget? I don't think you forgot anything. Um, there's not a whole lot for Steve in terms of uh, strategy here, other than... Uh, I'm a simple Well... Aside that aside, um, you know, it's he doesn't know what he's walking into. Um, you know, he knows there's a town. He knows the basic layout. Um, he knows where the headquarter building is over here. But other than that, he doesn't really know much of anything. So he's just going to try and uh, hustle down as quick as he can and try and just keep Travis from getting a foothold and putting up resistance and see what he can capture is that's what i understood you to say fair summary well excellent we're on the same page so uh, i'm gonna kick steve out and we'll do a quick uh wrap of anything else there's not really a whole lot that the players one of the players doesn't know pretty much everything was covered and the only real things i've got up my uh sleeves at this point are the uh, Indians for Travis. They will likely be, I already uh, checked, and they are planning to do some sort of a uh, attack, ambush, or rear action on Steve. That will most likely occur after he gets onto the board here. Steve also doesn't know that another unit of his regular line troops had been dispatched and will I'm expecting them to show up maybe four or five turns after the uh, main force starts appearing on the board. So not uh, a whole lot. Uh, there will be civilians out here. So we're going to have random uh, civilian encounters because it is uh, you know happening in town. And most of those are going to be pretty innocuous. I don't have anything specific planned. But then uh, in the last one, I didn't plan for the doctor to actually club an officer either. So it's really hard to say what could happen, but, uh, you know, um, interacting with civilians, anything can happen. I mean, we even had the uh, infamous attack chickens last time. So we'll, uh, we'll see if we can carry on that tradition. Anyway, I'm going to get the boys back in here and we'll get started. Turn one is complete, so Andre had us do some rolling in his head. He determined a few things based on the rolling. We each rolled 3d6, and he was computing things in his head as we went. And basically nothing happened. It turned okay. out Travis was moving faster than Steve, and they both started moving really fast, but uh, they both slowed down. Steve never caught up uh, to Travis as they were making their way to town. But my Dragoons did make it in. So they cantered on. They came in as a group with no leader, so they can't remove shock, and that's as far as they got. So that's actually the end of turn one, and we'll move on. Back at the end of turn two, my Dragoons have advanced or cantered up again, got up to here. And my two groups of Lion Infantry coming in from the checkpoint have arrived. They have five shock on them, though. So even in column, that's as far as they can make it, and that is it. So the Continentals are still maneuvering. I don't know where they're going, where they're going to come in. And I'm still coming in. Actually, that's it for me for stuff coming in. So actually, I got to ask Andre something. Quick, quick correction: There's actually two leaders uh, with these, with this this guy, uh, that formation there. So in command here, I guess we should start doing names. So Andre named all these guys. So no patrons in this battle. This is a completely separate theater of the war here. Actually, there weren't that many patrons at this time. Oh, that's true. Which... So this is Bassford. There might not have been any actually. So. Basford is in command overall. He's the level three. And over here I have uh, level two Greenlee. He's the guy up in the front there. And Worthington behind him, pointing. He is another level two. So those two level two leaders and uh, Basford 
up here uh, as a level three. And that is it, so we'll now move on to turn three. Turn three has come around. Andre's not letting me pull shock if anyone's wondering why I'm not pulling any shock yet, even though I have all these leaders. Well, they're just activating on flags. Yeah, they're just moving. It's free moves, basically. So they cantered up into here to town, uh, trying to get to the officer's headquarters. And these guys over here are just bogged down. They have five shock. I can't move. I moved an inch, even in column on, on the road. So next turn. This formation was able to move up five. Dragoons have continued on towards the headquarters building. Andre made Steve roll a 3d6 secretly. And I have no idea what it did. And we are ready will, to advance. I will relieve you of this suspense. Okay. It did nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's uh, move on next turn. Or are we going to start? Uh, we are in the bag. All right, so now we're going to start pulling out of the bag as normal. So my free moves are over. So do you know uh, your numbers one through four, Steve? Yeah, we should figure this out. Yeah. We have our leaders numbered, and now we will start the game proper. We know who's who. And our first player is. Red flag. Mr. Red flag. Captain Red Flag, Blue 2. So should I name someone Flag? <laughs> <laughs> Red Flag. <laughs> we have Blue 2. Bradley Jessup. Bradley Jessup. And who's he? He's your skirmishers? Yes, he is still off the board. Um, Thank God. I will talk to Steve on the sly and we'll see if he had any Blue special flag. plans. Blue Flag, Blue 1. Okay, he's not going to... Blue one is off the table as well. Yes. But your uh, troops mm -hmm. are hearing and see some movement on the road behind you. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> it's the cannon. There they are. Oh, the cannon. Here you go. <laughs> oh, God. You, you hear the roar of a cannon now. Um, the whistling but, of grape shot. Um, it's apparent <laughs> that some of Steve's troops are close on your heels here. Okay. Do you want to uh, rally your troops at all? You mean remove shock? I mean give them a pep talk about get your ass in gear. Yes, most definitely. Okay. I think Worthington is the, just the man for that job as well. So, um, hard ass. I'll, uh, I'll allow either of your level twos to give that command. Okay. And um, I'll give you two extra dice on the next roll, but you're going to take one shot per formation. Okay, so two extra dice to move. Yep. So I can move with four dice, but only take one shot. Yep. All right. Well, you're motivated, yeah. and the men are motivated. Worthington is motivating them. <laughs> um, so when your chip comes up, blue four. If it comes up, blue four. To use it. Anyone coming in? That's uh, Nelson. 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 Main line. So, nope, they haven't appeared yet. Another, <laughs> Another blue flag. Okay, Andre. You said you were siding with the Continentals. You didn't. Oh, and the Tiffin. Oh, God. <laughs> so, Andre is kind enough as game master to let me move these guys anyway, as I sense there's impending danger coming up behind them. So, he let me move 46 and take a shock. So, I was able to move 15 even with the five shocks. So, I got up to here, and we'll begin the next turn. First uh, card of the next turn. Blue one. Hey, what do you know? And that is... Bartles and James. Bartles and James. James you know? Bartles. Okay. Is he coming in? Could ask Steve. Oh, I think he could. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Over here. So okay. that's uh, this formation yeah, here? Yeah, that's this one right here. Oh, so this formation. One group of, oh. uh, looks like one group of militia. Uh, Not coming in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay then. So again, I can't move. And this is why you deploy everything on the table before, <laughs> oh, instead man. of trying to <laughs> bring it from reserve. Do uh, <laughs> movement. Yeah. Okay. Standard caveats apply to this game. Just so you know, it's never been tested, so we don't know what's going to happen here. Blue, Blue two. two. <laughs> uh, that's Jessup. That's these guys. Jessup. Okay. Says skirmishers. So he can start doing what uh, you were talking about? The Bradley Jessup and his rangers have appeared. They have rifles, so I'm assuming they're rangers. Jessup's rangers. They've appeared. They've only got that far uh, on 2d6, but they're going to use their last action to fire into the rear of this formation. So doubling shock. Oh, speaking of shock, 
Oh, I've got two shock on Oh, you're supposed You've to come in with shock. Two shock on you. Okay. So there we go. Does that remove shots or does it remove It removes one shot. It removes one okay. shot if you have two shot. So do three at need and fives? Uh, no, three needing fours, three needing, and the rest needing threes. Well, you actually only moved on one inch with the two shot, too, but... Yeah. yeah so all that okay, so it's going to be threes for everyone. So it's uh, effective range, first fire, light infantry. So fives, fours, threes, and he's only going to get six shots due to his two shock that he came on with. Oh, man. So three hits. Four hits. Four total hits. So we'll start back here. Nothing. Nothing. I don't Ooh. care. Uh, point is two points of shock. So these guys are now up to five. Five shock on the front. Okay, next card, Andre. Okay. And Something a, red. Please. A red flag. A blue flag. Uh oh. A third flag. Oh, a red four. That's Greenlee. That's uh, this guy here in the front. So he's going to, I guess I have to decide which one of these guys is actually in overall command. I guess Greenlee, since he looks more officer-ish than I, uh, I would say whichever one of them wants to take command <laughs> at this point is taking command. Yeah. All right, so Greenlee here, he used the flag to remove a shock. He told this group to move or uh, to do an about face. So they're now facing that way. This group just moved up barely. Um, just trying to get them separated. We're gonna try to separate into two groups here because we don't have enough room. I can't really snap into the orchard over the fence and everything. So that's that. Blue flag. Three blue flags, Steve. What are my options with the stuff that's off the board? Uh, nothing you'd be interested in doing. Okay. Then. With my some shot. And the red flag. Okay. And a red ten. What is that? That's um, a number. Yes. That <laughs> does not correspond to anything. <laughs> so. so. A random event of some type. We are going to see what happens here. And a civilian appears. Mm -mm. So Joe has appeared. That, that, that's a different Joe. Different Joe. Different Joe. There's two Joes. This Joe, the civilian carrying a barrel, has ran from um, out here. So yep, is he carrying a barn, keg of powder by any chance? I didn't ask him what was in the keg. Okay. Maybe everyone's just Did trying to snag. you want to snack. stop and ask him? <laughs> I'm a little busy now. Okay. Hey, you. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> a blue <a> tan. <laughs> I mean, something else random is about to happen here. Uh, or not happen. Something else random didn't happen. So nothing happened. Okay, good. All we know is a mysterious guy running across the street with a barrel of containing unknown substance. A red appeared. one. That's, well, that's got to be something travis -y. That's Basford here. So that he's got three commands. So he's going to take two, the last two shock off, and then we're just going to move up to the building. Basford and his dragoons have removed both shock, and they're just moving that way. Oh. Blue one. Who's blue one? Bartles. James Bartles. James Bartles. Okay. So James Bartles has come in. He's actually just right behind this group here, Jessup. And Andre's going to let him remove the shock. So he's used a flag and his one command to remove both shock. Activating off board. The <laughs> things that happen in this. It's crazy talk. Another red flag. Yeah, Bart or uh, yeah, Bartles is just that's some guys from his village that showed up so two we got red flags. three red flags so travis is up to three does yeah. travis need to do anything or uh i probably should or you could i mean you can always use them after the tiffin too that's true um but i need to activate this guy so i'd use all three flags to activate him to remove both shock and that would be it i could do that and still activate the group to fire though by itself because I don't need, um, it would just be an action, right? After the uh, tiffin. So, yeah, now nah, just pull. I'm gonna regret it. But <laughs> <laughs> blue four. Blue four. 
That's Nelson. 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 He's Mysterious coming down the road too. So okay, everyone, you're kind of getting bottlenecked there. Everyone's bottlenecked on the road here. Yeah. So, okay, everybody's... Uh, I'm not in column though, I'm going to be back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be in column, so he slides a little bit back on the tray. Two. Red two. Thompson. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so Thompson is the guy in this house with a group of line. He actually ordered them out. He's preparing to start searching the house. But my plan is to have these guys come link up over here with Greenlee. Next card. A white chip. What is that, Andre? What kind of stuff coming out of this? <laughs> After the white chip, Andre grabbed a uh, random events table and secretly rolled a bunch of dice, and then he came back and said nothing happened. That you know about. That we know about. Blue Another flag. blue flag. How many are left in there? I really should have put the Tiffin back in. Three. <laughs> Man, so what are the chances of me getting uh, Worthington back? Well, Steve could activate another one of his and get another dude in line back there. <laughs> I wouldn't mind pulling shock off you. I think I'm going to use those three to activate Worthington. I got to do it to pull the shock off. But it, ooh. Well, how many shock have you got? Two. I guess that works. Yeah, I, I have no choice. I got it, because if, if his card doesn't come out, yeah, I might get to shoot, but I need to shock off more yeah. than anything. And you got hey, to Before you pull that chip, I got three flags, right? Yep. Can I activate that team? Uh, to pull shock? Mm -hmm. How many you got? Two. But it's a level three leader. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's not. It's a level two. That works. So, okay. So off board, things are happening. Okay. And the flags are flying. <laughs> now you'll pull uh, red five, I'm assuming? No, the red three. Hunt. Hunt has decided not to make his presence known yet. Blue three. So the last one is going to be... No, the Tiffin. <laughs> oh, it wasn't Worthington. Nice. So it was a good idea to spend those three flags then, right? Well, so did I not pull his flag? Red five? There is no red. You said you put it back in the... There should be a red five in there. Did you not put it in? I don't know. <sighs> okay, so when... <laughs> so Worthington's flag wasn't even in there, man. Really, This really is a one-sided uh, screw job. <laughs> well, you know, it was a critical <laughs> one, Travis, so I figured uh, oh, if I man. had to... I could have pulled one more shock. <sighs> okay, all right, moving on to the next turn. All right, first card. We'll okay. take our lumps. We red have a red flag. flag. Okay. Not doing anything, obviously. Blue flag. Blue flag. Uh oh. <laughs> Who went last? <laughs> I think the last person that actually moved or anything was these guys. Oh. It is three flags in a row. Yeah, the last people that did anything were uh, Thompson's group okay, of red coats. on the moving table. All right. Two d six. And eight. Dress the ranks. The ground is worse than it looks. A formation reduces any dice rolled for movement in the next turn by half. Okay, they're not a formation, so, so no worries don't there. Don't worry about that. Nope. Oh god, the white chip. The white chip. Here we go. The white chip. All that happened was Joe advanced down the road with his keg. And That's three three red flags in a row, or already three red. So we're starting over. That's one flag, two flags. <laughs> what the hell, man? What are Good the thing odds? I shuffled. Huh? Jesus. Oh. <laughs> the blue ten. So another and these don't. Uh, crazy I'm not saying happen. those break the uh, flag thing. Okay. Um, so. A so man. Blue ten. Blue ten just meant that Joe with the keg moved a little bit more. <laughs> another flag. What the hell, man? That's three flags in a row again. Wow. Are you sure you have the chips in there? <laughs> I found a red flag. And the Tiffin. That's some wow. crazy pull in there. So I guess the same guys again? Uh, <laughs> nobody's done thing? anything. I've never seen this happen before. Oh god, a 12. Oh, <laughs> it could be. What terrible wind! 
A Man. mighty gust so clears any lingering smoke from the table. That's the firing. I'm, we're looking at the moving, right? Yeah. Moving random events. Okay, so no smoke lingering. If so. any buildings are on fire, test for other buildings within 18 inches. Ooh. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So again, it does nothing. And we can't possibly pull three more. There's only two left. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> red what? <ten. laughs> right, what happens on the red tin? Nothing? Nothing. Oh, two. That's me. Blue, two. Finally, something Brad besides Jesse. the flag. And his skirmishers. Oh, Jessup. Perfect. That's exactly who you needed. So Jessup is removed. He's level two. So he used a command and a flag to remove both shock, and then he moved two actions up here, stopping, not using his free move. Red one. Red one. Red Bassford one. again. So red, red these guys. One. It's like he's the only guy that could search for that. So they're going to go and try to get into the. Uh, he's going to try to go and get into the. Okay. Bassford himself moved over to the headquarters. He's going to dismount and get in there next turn. And he had the Dragoons move over here and they're going to start um, unloading supplies. While he was running by, he yelled over to the Teamsters to get their ass on the wagon and they're going to start moving over here. So they're going to get a free move at the end of the turn. Every turn they'll get a free move. Next next card, Andre. Oh, that, that, hey, that's me. <laughs> that's you. You're the bag man. I'm, on, I'm Andre. Blue four. That's Nils. Nelson. Nelson. Nelson, the overall commander of the Continental Force, level three, has sprinted in with uh, his one group of Continental mm -hmm. Line, and he's removed the shock that they got for it. Blue, Blue one. one. There's James Bartles has advanced on. We're going to say that these three guys, or the six guys here in the middle, can fire. The two ends are too close. They're going to fire over here into my guys, needing fives. Two, two hits. Five. Um, so we'll just, they're within four, right? So, yeah. but they would, that means that they would take double. So we'll roll for these guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they take two shock. Damn. They're up, back up to five. They had gotten down to three. Then these guys here, a point of shock. So a point of shock on them, two points of shock on them. Hold the line boys. Next card, Andre. Red four. Greenly. That's this guy. Perfect. So how many? I have three flags out, right? You have three flags. So I could remove all of my shock. Wow. I need to do it. Actually, I got to keep one because I need to have a command left to activate them. So I'm going to pull all but one using all three flags. Do I need a flag for anything at the end? It would be nice to activate these guys. Um, all right, I'll pull uh, three shock, so I'll be down to two. And I'll have one flag left. I need to keep that just in case I don't get his card. And with the last command, they're just going to move up. Mm -hmm. So I rolled a double one. They did not move. With the two shock, it just means they just uh, sat there. Hey, let's uh, keep getting shot from behind. Hey, here's your other flag. Hey, getting shot from behind is a great idea. <laughs> and a three. Red three. That's my other guys that are still hidden. Okay. And yeah, we'll just keep me in one more turn. I might regret Red it. Red two. Thompson. So that's this guy here. He's going to search the building. Okay. So that's one turn down. So I got to search for three consecutive or three turns. I guess it doesn't have to be consecutive. Well, it's yeah, four turns. No, it said three. You said three. You changed it to. Oh, three. I changed it to three. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm sorry. It went from five to four. To four. Yeah. So he's level one. Yeah. So he's got two more searches, and I'm actually going to let you roll a, a d6. Okay. On a five or a six, you uh, you get in a bonus. Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay then. All right, but we have started the search, and there's Doctor. Travis in there. is actually uh, trying to pull the important stuff together. A you think blue if we flag, uh, put it in there, we'd know where it was. Three blue flags. Well, he wasn't the one that put it in there. Oh, so the thing. Hey, there's some documents hidden in that building. Where is it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> not so much hidden as just you know there's scattered okay. stuff hanging around, foot lockers, you know. Oh, yeah. uh, so okay. three blue flags, I can activate a leader after the Tiffin, right? That hasn't already activated? You've actually... 
Yeah, uh, not after the tiffin. Yeah, you'd have to do it now. Have to be before the tiffin. Yeah, let's do it now. So you're gonna act, use the three flags to activate something? Yeah, I'm gonna bring my guys on. Okay. So he's used all three flags to bring his last group. So this is all the Continentals that I know of. So they've definitely arrived in Sterling Town here. And we better start finding here. some stuff here soon. Hey, a red five. Worthington. Okay, that is Worthington. So thankfully I was able to pull his. Um, and you've got one shot. Yep. So and you got two flags. Either Worthington has uh, took the shock off, ordered them to sprint this way, so we're trying to come back here, reform our line. These poor guys are sadly in a bad spot, but they they did take a shock and use a flag to remove it. Oh, wow. I already used those three flags to activate them. So. Oh, that would have been blue. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was the blue three, three and the last card again. Wow. Well... Interesting. I don't know if it was the last one before, but it was oh, my super teamsters, close. Teamsters have to move. Yep. So the Teamsters are going to start moving up towards the building over here. The seven inch move. All the Teamsters move. All the Teamsters can move every turn. So there they are. I just moved them all seven just for right now. And we begin the next turn. And I need to get this guy's dice here. Is he a red four? He is, Greenlee. That is him. <laughs> yeah, that's Greenlee and that's Worthington. So, all right, cool. We, we got to get out of Dodge. Greeley ordered his men to sprint. They got a really good sprint. They took a shock, so they're back up. To, he took a shock off, sprinted, took another one. So, luckily, we are out of harm's to wait for now. Next card, Andre. Something red. Red, too. Thompson. He's going to search again. Okay. Roll a D6. D6. Give me a 5 or a 6. Okay. It's one of those square things. No, not a 5 okay. or a 6. That's two turns searching, though. Yep. Two more, and he'll find the documents. Okay, next card. Well, he'll gather all gather the documents. Them. Red 10. That's nothing. Okay. I've uh, come up with a system with the uh, white uh, blue flag, red flag. Uh oh. Uh oh, Tiffin. Tiffin! Oh wow! Okay. Okay. Travis has the better force yeah. morale. Oh, my force morale is eleven. Steve's at an eight. I don't think we ever mentioned that, but we did roll for that. So I get to activate something first. Yeah. Um, I'm going to activate these guys just to get up here and start the search. Start to load. Start to load the uh, wagon. So the wagons are going to move again. I'm going to get well, up there. Got his, uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. You get to move something with your flag. Jessup has uh, run over here. Or he's advanced too and he's his free move. So next card, Andre. Next turn, actually, too. Oh, the Teamsters. I never moved the Teamsters. See where they go up. Uh, ten, yeah. So we'll move them. This uh, wagon here is able to back up. They're going to start loading next turn. And these guys are just advancing into the town. Actually... It's a loop. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Trying to back up a wagon would probably not be very easy. Um, it's actually not as difficult as it might seem, but the yeah, horses it's, are good. it's tricky. Well, blue flag. Oh no. Red four. Greenlee. So that's this guy again. Greenlee had his men run over here. They took the shock off, sprinted. We're trying to get over there. And didn't get a very good roll. Back up to two shock, red three. Red three. That's my light infantry. I probably should do something. I probably should reveal them now just in case yeah, the flags don't come out how I want them next time. So Hunt, the light infantry commander, has revealed his position. Can't see anything. <laughs> can't be seen. He's either. revealed that he can't be seen. <laughs> I just want to have him available. So red, red flag. Four. Two flags for Travis, two flags for Steve, three flags, three flags for Steve. So who's the last one that moved? These guys. Yeah. Or was it them? No. That was you. Okay. 2d6. Come on, thin red line. Eight. Eight. Dress the ranks. What Again. That Nothing? Nothing. Okay. And a blue three. So I have two flags or three flags? Two. Two. Okay. Blue three, who's that? So that's Smith. 
He's kind of bottled up. Smith. He's the guy in the back, right? Yeah. With the two group formation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah. Smith's boys <laughs> ran straight through these other guys 12 inches. You gotta give Smith a first name. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe that Smith. is his first name. <laughs> Smith. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> so another, another red. flag. So I have three or two? Three. Three. Okay. Uh, do I want to do anything? No. Red five. Worthington. That's these guys here. Worthington. These men did an about face. He moved himself over here just to get in the better command range of all these various groups that are hanging out in the street here. White ship. Is that done? Blue flag. Okay, hold on. Four there. flags. Does Ooh. Steve have four? What Steve can I do has, after you can team? redo your whole big man line. Can move up another twelve. <laughs> another twelve. <laughs> well, his big man's really this guy. Yeah, but his big man line is. The well, big he's line. only got one line. So four flags. You can activate a unit that's already activated. Yep. How about after the Tiffin? No. Uh, Only before the tip. But if you wanted to move all your other junk, you, you could activate each one of those units on a flag. You That's could activate your commander yeah. and then move both of these. So and it's not a huge big deal if you. Commander's only three flags, right? But I mean, actually, you could activate this guy and move all these guys again. They're the only ones that would really benefit at this point. Because they're the only ones that have. Well, let's say the Tiffin comes up next. I can move four groups without. Yes. This. Yeah. So you're gonna hold on to it. Uh, yeah, because it's not just, a real big deal. Yeah, at the activating that guy. Thin red line. Uh, okay. That's. So that's uh, Bartles and James. James Bartles. That's this guy, right? Yep. So James Bartles has moved his men up. Did not reload. And. He's camp what, no four moved? flag activation yet? No. Because yeah, you could do Bartles again right now if you really wanted to, but... Oh, actually... If you wanted to get them online and make a three uh, three wide steamroller... Or you could do... Of course, good luck moving that three yeah. <laughs> groups up through all this dense terrain. <laughs> Steve has decided not to use the four flags to activate Bartles again. Something red. red one. Bassford. So finally. So that's this guy. So he's going to order these guys to start loading the cart. So the and then uh, he's going to go into the building himself here. Just ride right through the front door. And then uh, that's that. So next flag. All right. So recap for Andre. Uh, Bassford himself, he ordered them to search, so yep. they used both actions to search. Uh, they've been loading the wagon, I should say, not searching. Okay. He rode his horse in, and he's now going to start searching for documents. Okay, so they've been searching for one... Yeah. One, uh, if they were eight men, they would have already loaded the wagon by the end of this turn. But since there's only six, it's going to take two turns. And he's going to be able to search that... Um, so it takes four turns less one level per officer. So he's a level three, so it's only going to take me one turn to find the documents. But the problem is, as soon as he leaves, I have no one to command. What kind of commander just takes off? Maybe he'll stick around. Well, he just has to get he has to get off the board. He doesn't yeah. have to immediately be the first one off the board. Yeah, either. just at some point he's so a runoff. Before, okay. Before you pull that, so. Uh, Steve's still debating what to do with these yeah. four flags here. Mm -hmm. Steve decided to activate just up with the four flags. He's reloaded and used his free move to move towards the corner of that house. So he's covering down the street now with rifles, which is not good for us. Blue 10. That's some kind of random thing. Let's see what happens here. Andre's doing a super secret rolling. Uh, dude with the uh, girl's gonna move up here so am i supposed to stop him or is on or is steve supposed to stop him <laughs> or we don't know just some guy is walking down through the middle of a war with a barrel on his shoulder all right a little suspicious but i got no one to you there can i call out to him <laughs> only when uh when you activate okay blue flag or, or i suppose you could i have a, you flags. could burn a flag and, I, and ask him 
Hold on. I want to use my four flags to activate Thompson and do a search. And if I pull his card, I'll get to search again, and then I'll find the documents. So is it the same thing, five or six? Uh, no, he found him. He found him. All right. So if I get him again, I can get the hell out of there. Uh, he's actually got another command, so he could. Isn't he a level? Uh, he's yeah. level. No, he's only level one. Uh, but he still has two commands, doesn't he? No. Uh, no. Level one is one command. One so command. Okay. I had to use a command to search. So he searched and he's done. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And I need to red two to come out so I can get him out of the house. Okay. So next card. So that's my four flags. Red 10, okay, another random thing. Super secret rolling. Joe again. Does he move? And... Um... This guy fell down screamed an obscenity fell down and these horses spooked over this way oh man so he's is he down on the ground then like now he jumped back up ah uh, so he just scared everyone all right then <laughs> and again <laughs> he, he's drunk <laughs> no he was just running with a big brain heavy barrel on his it's like one of those camelback things he's got that straw yeah, coming from it <laughs> That's Bradley Jessup again. So he is there he goes. That's to, exactly uh, what C wanted. Jessup is going to now do something. Jessup uh, has moved over the fence and moved up, so he's in position. So he's done a lot. He's activated twice. He's reloaded. He's got all the way up to where he wanted to go. Red six. Uh, Unslopagas. Oh, I'm not remembering the name Unslopagas. <laughs> <laughs> it's the brother of what's his name? Not brother. Tatunka. No. In Kosikas. In Kosikas. Who was sadly killed in the uh, battle yeah. earlier this morning. Condolences. So, uh, Travis. Yes. Um, Steve, go put your head in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so, he can be anywhere along over here. Mm -hmm. He can come in right now. Uh, he's not actually, no. But if you point to a spot next mm -hmm. turn, he'll be there oh, and man. activate it. I'm coming in right by this big green tree right there. So you want to be back or forward? Actually I want to be right here. Right there? Yep. Okay. Is this block line of sight? These trees here? Yes. Okay. And can I get across there? Ooh. Um, no. Well that's a problem then. Maybe I should come in. So let me think about it. I'm delaying in Slopagas. Blue four. Because that will allow me to deploy somewhere where I won't be stuck on the other side of the river. Uh, blue four. It's Nelson. Nelson. So Nelson just moved up. Um, he ran through, and everyone else is done. So is there anything left, Andre? Yeah. We have the Tiffin. Is it the last one again? No. We oh, still had one. the red two. Uh, Thompson. That's what I needed us to have to run out. <laughs> <laughs> Man, those are some late Tiffins. Man. I predict we're going to have some really short turns coming up here. Okay, next turn. Joe has thrown the barrel into the wagon. It's obviously a oilist. My other wagon has moved up here. We're going to wait for these guys to get done. Move up here and hopefully load the supplies from this building. If we can hold the line. Red flag. Blue 10. Here we go again. Is that it, something, Andre? It, uh, it is. Okay. Uh, so, orbital bombardment. Um, a barrel full of C4. <laughs> oh no, the barrel explodes. Oh no. <laughs> it leaks something foul. Um, Damn, he was a sympathizer. Uh, not a uh, Nazi, not a. <laughs> partisan or a, uh, he was okay. a partisan for sure. Who is number six? On mine? Never it's mind, that's in Slopagas. In Slopagas. Who's number five? Worthington. Where's Worthington? He's right here. Okay. Worthington just oh, heard God. a musket ball whiz past his head. Um, and? Didn't really know where it uh, originated from, but he didn't hear the shot, but. There's a sniper. 
somewhere. He just targeting uh, Worthington. Damn it. Okay. So is that something he's gonna have to worry about the rest of the game? Getting picked off. What Worthington worry? Nah, he don't care. He's in control. Blue flag. Another blue, blue flag. flag right? Oh, we're gonna do all the flags in a row again. Three flags in a row. Uh, if you don't count the 10, it is. It is, it is. Okay, so who was the last one that moved? Oh, God. The wagons moved, but they don't count. Wasn't uh, it these guys? Nelson. I think oh, Nelson. Okay. All right, Steve, roll 2d6. Yeah, he's got a first name. His name's Beauregard now. Roll 2d6 and step in something. Beauregard. <laughs> Beauregard Nelson. Snake Ooh. guys. Snake guys. S extreme heroism. Moving random event. Hello, ladies. <laughs> One D3 men are convinced that a nearby building is home to some rather beautiful ladies and swip away to present their cards. Mm -hmm. The player who owns the figures must move them to the nearest building where they will remain until contacted by a friendly leader, at which point they will join whatever group it is they are with. <laughs> so, the word has gotten out. Uh, these guys passing by the window must have saw... These Something interesting in there. So you have D3? So, uh, D3. So. D3 roll, men. Roll. One guy. A dude. Uh, he is uh, very horny. How far does he go? It says just to the nearest building. It says move him to the nearest building? Yeah, I think so. Um, around here. Okay, I'm just going to go peek uh, through the window. He uh, slips away to present <laughs> his card. He's the. Company purred. So Must move to the nearest building. Okay. Well, there he is. He's at the yeah. building. He just needs a leader to tell him to go back. Yeah. Okay. Get your get back in formation, <laughs> idiot. Red two. Thompson. So that's him. So he's gonna move out of there before he gets blasted. So we're just gonna move out. Yeah, I got these H E right here. Right? Nine. Thompson has gotten out of the building. He's heading for the uh, exits. Hunt. That's these guys. Hunt has, we decided to just hit, get out of the orchard. I briefly contemplated moving over and firing on them. But if these guys happen to make it into the orchard, the line of sight, their visibility is a lot longer, so he would have been able to get a flank shot. Blue three. That's the big line of militia. Big line. His first name is now Thelonious. Thelonious Smith. Thelonious Smith. Um, they're going to try to cruise up at a 45 degree. Felonius has moved up. He's level 2. Yep. So he's moved up and he's ordered the uh, peeping Tom here to get <laughs> back in formation. <laughs> Next card. Flag. That's 2 for me. Okay. One, 3 for me. Let me think here. I might need to activate this guy. So these guys, uh, he just had them face this way so they wouldn't be getting hit in the flank and then he had them move up. So they're going to start forming some kind of line of resistance here. Yeah, next card. I guess I should have asked Andre if these casualties carry over to the next year's game. <laughs> <laughs> Everything carries. So I got four flags now. Four huh? flags. Hmm. I used all four flags to activate Bassford. Hopefully I get his card again. He searched. He's halfway through opening the safe to get the important documents because that's what I'm looking for. They're worth five points. He's also ordered the Dragoons to uh, finish loading the wagon, which they did. So at the end of this turn, this wagon is going to take off. Not quite true. Okay, well, Travis let's see what didn't, didn't accurately read his instructions. I didn't. No. What happens? Well. All right, well, next card. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm hoping that I can get off the board. Red six. Unslopaga, so he's waiting. So next next turn he'll be able to come in. That'll be the no, second that turn. Was, that was last turn we pulled his card. But he had to wait two turns. So he, Oh, oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. So Unslopaga is still out there. Wait, yep. got something I can do something? Blue two. Blue two. They're just going to fire. So I need to... Uh, you're within 12? Right? Yeah, threes. No, no, yeah. No, they're not within 12, but there's it's a rifle, thing. right? So it's 18. No, it's still 12. You're within oh, 12. Then I better measure more carefully. Yeah, yeah they're 12. So yeah, it's fours, and, but you're light infantry. So it's uh, threes. Seven shots. Now we'll see if these redcoats can weather the storm. He wow. missed. 
miss three of them. Four hits. They have no leader with them. They're just kind of hanging out there as bullet magnets. Two shock. Could have been a lot worse. And then you have an action left, Steve, so you could half reload or you could right. tap reload. Tap reload probably would be yeah, we'll tap a smart thing to do at this point. Tap reload. Travis is a shot. smart thing. I'm, yeah, two shots. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to the enemy. They always give you good advice. <laughs> and a red oh, boy. 10. Red 10. So this has some uh, supplies in it now. Can it start moving off the board? Um, or is that a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> oh, um, He's making this as he goes, so he could become a bomb at any moment. <laughs> okay. Um... So, we're getting some more civilians on the board. Okay. Three civilians have emerged with supplies out of this building, and they appear to be heading this direction. These guys, actually, it takes eight men two turns to load. I was thinking eight men one turn, so it's going to take them one more turn to load. Okay, ready? Yep. We got a blue four. Blue four. Beauregard Nelson. Nelson ordered the uh, peeping Tom so over, and he jumped the fence. So he's got a third command, right? He yes. He so does. he can command that militia, right? Yep. Yeah, he could so tell them to do I something. I need to do a rules discussion. He, uh, with his last command, act had this uh, form or this group snap into an open column. So it's not techn technically an activation. Okay, so how many five? Three fives. Three, three flags. Three flags. Uh, I can activate a leader, right? You can activate a leader. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to activate the militia. Okay. It, what's that guy's name? Nelson? No. That guy is uh, Beauregard Smith. Smith. Thelonious Smith. Uh, he was going to fire, but it would have been an uncontrolled volley since he didn't have enough to present and fire. And they get a first um, control volley in the very first volley. So he just presented. And he's hoping I'm still there when it when it comes back around. Huh. It wasn't the last thing. And how many flags do I have? I had didn't I use all four? I did. I used all four over here. Okay. And Steve's burned all of his, so that's, that's that. Okay. Next turn. Come on, red uh, something. Red one. Red, red, one. Andre's rolling a dice. Red, Roll the three, one. whatever that means. Blue four. four. That is Beauregard Nelson again. So these guys? No, it's this guy. Oh, oh the main man. The first thing Nelson's going to do is going to have this formation fire. So only the front group can fire on them. So first fire, control, volley, long range, needing fours. That's four. Four hits. In the open. A dead and three shock. Wow. I'm up to five. And a dead. Okay, and he's got two more commands left. Nelson's own group advanced up, so they reloaded. Uh, they're in the control still since they have one controlled volley, the first one. Next card, red six. Unslopagas. So when Slopagas can come in now. Yes, he may. And you said he can come in all the way up to here, right? Yep. And that is just a group of Indians? Uh, yep. Six man with a leader? Yep. Level oh, one. Oh, boy. And Slopagas, brother of Iconikos, or... Damn, I keep forgetting his name. Nikosikos. Nikosikos, his brother, He's vowing not, revenge. They're not brothers. They're totally different tribes on totally different sides. They're blood brothers. <laughs> We're all blood brothers, Travis. Come on. They're using their free move to move on. We're going to fire into the back of these guys. First fire, short range, so needing threes. And then they're going to reload. One, two, three, four, five hits on you there, Andre. I mean, Steve. In the open. So, one, two, three. Six shock. <laughs> Ouch. That'll do some damage. Well. And I reloaded. There's a lot of arrows in the backside. Arrows and musket balls. Red flag. And Slopagas. Uh -oh. Red 10. Not again. Well, actually, that might be good for me. My civilians might actually get over here and load the <laughs> load it for me so I don't um, need to do it. 
So, uh, yeah, this guy's gonna start coming around over. So he's loaded guys. this up, right? Oh, we forgot to move the. We didn't move the um, wagons at the end of the last turn. Oh. This has stuff in it. This one's not fully loaded, and this one doesn't have anything in it. So didn't this one fully load? No, remember, it takes. it's going to take one more turn. One more. Okay, so there's... But well, this one turns. has something in it. There's something. Yeah, but it's not fully loaded or... Okay, so it's just like a bonus point or something? Yeah. yeah. All right. But where's that wagon going? Okay. Uh, well, this... Yeah, I, I can't possibly get to the barn at this point and start looting. Uh, looting. You can drive the wagon over there. <laughs> I'm just going to back up um, 11. I'll just take whatever it is and get off the board with it. Hopefully it's worth a lot. Next one. Uh-oh. Random event for blue. Okay. Multiple rolls by Andre. Oh boy, he's looking at my leader list here. I don't like that. <laughs> Where's green? Greenly? Greenly. Uh, that's this guy here. Okay. Oh no, whis oh no, another sniper shot. Okay. Oh God. So someone's picking off my officers here. Uh let's say we're uh long range rifle. Oh boy. Sounds like something Wadsworth would do. Um, so what would that be? That would be a, uh, a five. Six five. So a five. Ooh. It's a hit. It's a hit. Well, I guess it depends on who's shooting it, really. <laughs> My long range rifle is a six, but I'm assuming it's a light infantry firing it. So a five, so it's a hit. So I just have to roll uh, damage on him? You're hit. So he's automatically hit, so I'm rolling to see what happens to him. Yep. Okay. Uh, he's knocked out. Greenly, or, uh, Greenly is knocked unconscious by a musket ball, so bad thing. What is it? I can't see a it. one. So nothing. Wow. Well, maybe. Level 2 leader wounded. Ooh. No effect. But it is an effect that I can't use him anymore. That uh, could put a damper on things and... The white chip. Might as well take that off. It's not going to do anything anymore. Four. That's Greenly. He can attempt to get up though at the end of the turn, or at the end of this chapter order. Two blue flags. Tiffin. And a Tiffin. What the? I know. It's like a normal <laughs> turn. Okay. We so haven't I'm, had any of those. I still got the higher force round. I have more flags, so I'll go first. So the only person, so these guys move back, 1d6, use their last command or action to turn back around, still with 5 shock. They moved way up there, they're moving away, no shock, they have 6 but it didn't matter because they're out of line of sight of everything over here. They're going to fire over here to Eden 5s. Into my front unit, I'm assuming. Yeah. Whoa. I'll take Ooh. 5 hits. Sure. 5 hits in the open. So Ooh. a dead and four more shock. So they're going to be they're busted, falling back here. So they're at nine with eight dudes, four six dudes. dudes, six dudes. What am I saying? <laughs> Travis is all flustered. Uh, so six, so they're going to fall back involuntarily three inches. Which so they're going to they're going to crash into those guys. So I don't know. I guess they'll just come this way. Are they just mixed in with them? Uh, I guess I should have. Oh no, I can't split them up because I'm getting shot at by... I'll just put them right here. And then a bad thing happens. Actually, hold on. Uh, minus, that, oh god. That might be a minus two. Usually uh, it's 50-50. Minus one. Nine shock with six guys. Ouch. I need to start pulling some shock or that group's gonna break and run. Yeah. What's to worry about? Just a bunch of rifles there on the fence. Half reloaded. Oh, and oops. well, that was turned. Yeah. So next, a turn. red flag. All right, I need some red here, Andre. There, there it go. is. Good call, Thompson. That's this guy. Uh, what the hell is he gonna do? How about we pull a Search shock? Another building. <laughs> we pull a shock. Are we connected to them? If you want to be. 
so I could connect for one fit or and then pull the shock and then run off so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna just book it 3d6 out of here all right 11 inches so we're just gonna run back towards the board edge Thompson is running back he's gonna try to help um, Bassford search the oh shouldn't we headquarters. move the uh, wagons again? wagons yes uh, where all that happened so this wagon loaded up well he can't go anywhere and wait it's not loaded up we had to wait another turn they never that was the last turn that was three turns so you got five guys six well five should have six but so five guys for three turns okay um so you got a wagon eight inches eight inches and then this guy, he was trying to get over there. I think we're just going to sit here. We can't get through. He's going to back off eight. Or he'll just turn around. How about that? Turn around and go up a few. I'm just going to take whatever's in there because I don't think I'm going to be getting any more supplies. There's no buildings that I could get to that safely and have time to search at this point to get supplies. So I'm going to have to just be happy with what I get, what I have right now. So, Poland? Yeah. Okay, blue flag. Okay. What is that? What are you stopping? <laughs> Would I stop on a blue flag? I, I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, a flag what, came what out. What are you calling right? me? <laughs> Red flag. So I think there's some kind of random event. Another blue happen. flag. That's so a random event. Who was event. number two? Uh, that was just your officer running across. Yeah, so the last yeah. guy that actually moved. That was your officer by himself. Okay. Don't step in anything. Number seven. Tell the men to sing. Okay. He's singing to himself. Sing, boys. Okay. Blue flag. <laughs> One of these again. This is something else. Red five. Worthington. Oh, we forgot to roll for... Uh, um, greenly to see if he got up. Okay. He does. Hey, I'm back up, dudes. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. just a... uh, Worthington, that's this guy. Hmm. Worthington moved himself over here, used the flag and pulled two shocks, so they're down to seven. We're going to stop these guys from breaking. Hold the line. Blue four. Is, uh, Bill Regard Nelson. So these guys, so the main man here behind the apple tree. These guys moved independently, spun around with everything they had. They wound up back in formation facing this way. And then these guys reloaded, turned around with their sick shock. So it's suddenly not looking good for <laughs> Slipagas. I hope I get his you, card this turn. I was going to say, you, uh, you, got, uh, you got their attention. <laughs> I need to get their card, his card. Is number he number one? one? No, he's not. That's Bassford. I was going to so say, he's he already gonna, went. He's going to, does he finish searching then? So he's going to finish collecting the important documents. So he's got the important documents right now. Yep. Okay. And that's one command, or one command. So he's second command, he's going to leave the building. And he'll just come out and assume command of the Dragoons again. And with his last command, he's going to have the Dragoons just kind of form up. Yeah. So they're done searching, and they're just going to come back and kind of regroup with him in command. Next card. And so Pagas. Nope. Two. Who's that? You two. Bradley Jessup. It's those guys. These guys here, okay. So you're going to finish reloading their rifles. They're going to fire as rifles. What's your range there? Uh, yeah. It's so front rank. So finish reloading. Hitting on fours uh, on this group here. They're still not quite in formation yet. Three hits. Three hits, all right. And they do have a leader attached now, sadly. A dead and a shock. So they're up to, back up to eight. See if it's the leader. No. So we're at, uh... 
seven dudes with eight shocks. So we're going to do an involuntary withdrawal one inch. Seven, I'm five. Oh, five, six. So we fall back two inches. And we do a bad thing. Another minus one. So I'm down to nine. Hey, you're almost down to me. Those guys have. Huh? They're still here though. They keep pulling shock, man. So all they need to do is just absorb bullets and they're, they're, let these guys do their search. Good. Let them search, man. Red flag. Red flag. Come on, I need uh, number six. No. Nope. How about a four? Greenlee. So that's him. So he'll pull their shock off, and then we'll uh, fire at them. They haven't fired yet, so just long range. So first fire, uh, needing fives, so I need to hope I can get some kind of damage on you even though you're in hard cover. Ooh. Need to get some lead right down range though, so. Need some good rolling too. Five, but I need, right, <laughs> you're, right. yeah. you're in hard cover now, so. Five hits. Sorry, we just played bolt action there. <laughs> 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 Not that fair. We got a Zing. fence in front of us. Yeah, fence. Wood fence, man. Man, you gotta love the ooh. Tiffin, damn it. Tiffin, tiffin, tiffin. So Steve gets a Steve go has it. three flags. <laughs> Travis has one. But everybody's activated except the guys in the trees. So so they can activate. Actually, didn't your main man? Yeah, but they can activate the group. Oh. They haven't done anything. Yet. Okay. Steve used his flag on his last unactivating it to move these guys just that way in the um, orchard, staying six inches back. And then Uslopagas used all of his moves with my flag to get out of the gigantic firing arc of those guys. Next turn. But if you snap them in now, <laughs> snap, yeah. keep you snap the arc again. Keep snapping, yeah, keep chasing those Indians. <laughs> All right, uh, wagons. <laughs> wagons, yes. So, wagons are gonna move, yeah, move here. Seven. Seven. Plus these as well. The road does that matter? Plus two more. Okay. And then he's probably gonna maybe make it off. Maybe not. It's probably more like out there. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. All right. Oh, and he's gonna move up to uh, there. Blue flag. All right. Blue flag next. Oh, you want me to keep going? Unless there's just another blue boot. flag. <laughs> Red flag. Red hey, flag. Wow. So the last person that moved was Slopagas. Slopagas. Oh no. Yeah. Oh god. My bally leg! Oh no! The leader commanding the unit has sprained his ankle. Oh god, and slow For the remainder of the game, he will move with minus one pip per dice. Oh man, that's not that bad. Uh, actually, for Indians, it is. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. With step out and their free move, uh, minus one, that's usually minus two or minus three per move. Yeah. It could be rough. So we have an uh, injured and slow gas. Step in their prairie dog hole. Uh oh, 10. Andre's doing his special rolls here. He rolled a 6. Apparently that means nothing. Blue 2. Skirmishers. Jessup. He's half loaded. I spun around to the pre move, finished loading. The rifles are going to fire in Slopagas. Four hits. Four hits. Hard cover though, because they're in the grass. That's some hard grass. 2 shock. Which is not good for a small skirmish unit, as we've learned. That's already moving slow. Yeah, it's already got a wounded or a sprained ankle on the slip of gas, so... Blue one. Blue one! He's going to activate them and fire, just fire at them. Needing sixes with eight shots due to the six shock. Uh, one hit. <laughs> Dead Indian. Man, well, at least we didn't take any more shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually probably. Yeah. I'd rather lose an Indian at this point. But hey, they're doing their job, man. They got the entire Continental Forces <laughs> <laughs> facing the wrong way. Another flag. All right, come on, Andre. So Pull some I red, man. Yeah. Hey. So Smith has wheeled his boys around 1d6, and 
managed to get uh, in Sloop of Goss into his arc. 20 shots, uncontrolled volley, needing sixes. So I got three. Three hits on in Sloop of Goss. In hard cover. Nothing. Wow. And that would have been a rear shot. Uh, man, that could have been brutal. Uh, we got lucky. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me something red here, Andre. Wait, the tiffin came out already? Yeah. When did that happen? Uh, right, right when I said, wait, can I have? Uh, right when uh, Steve was. So you literally pulled everything for Steve and not for me. No, I gave you a flag. <laughs> so he got one. Okay, I'm going to have to do something. Maybe I'll move my, uh, I don't know what I want to do. I activated my dragoons who moved two inches. Look out. And these civilians are still here with by the by the cart so hopefully they're gonna load it up something good red six. hey something red unslopagas <laughs> <laughs> unslopagas move 3d6 uh minus one pip for the sprained ankle minus two for the shock so we move five inches but he did get out of the arc of the big formation but he is in the open now it's fine it's fine blue flag let those uh Militia chase me around. Red for Greenlee, that's him. He ordered this uh, group up, moved it up four. They're gonna fire here, needing sixes. Long range. Uh, two hits, hard cover. Come on, shock. Yes, point of shock. They took two shock from getting hit in the rear. Red one. Alright, now Andre's coming through. So Bassford. He's gonna, we're just leaving. We're gonna take the important documents and we're gonna move out 10. So he's actually gonna run towards the church over here instead of running off the table. Uh, but he is gonna order those dragoons to move up um, at a tr uh, canter. So seven plus what, six? So he's coming around to maybe try to search the church, hopefully, and then these guys moved up. Oh, with his third one, can he command him? He could, right? He's a junior officer. He's got to tell him to run into the building there. So he'll just pop into the building. There we go. Okay. With his Blue third flag. command. Okay. Blue flag. Blue four. Blue four. That's the big guy. They moved up. He didn't go with them. Oh, he's still in command range, right? He's in command range. Yeah. Um. So... He's just going to stay there and then... This is one command and he's got three. Okay. So they're moving up and firing. So needing uh, first fire, close range, so th threes. That's five hits. Five hits, hard cover. Oh, I'm sorry, six. six. Oh, wait, six, I missed six. a tie here. Hang on, I have one more. Oh, cheap. Six hits. Hard cover. Six legitimate hits. One dead. So one dead light infantryman. Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay. Next. Let's go. Uh. Let's fight. Blue ten. Oh boy. That's another random event for Andre. And the Something proverbial happened. six. And nothing happened. I rolled a six again. What is that? Oh, okay, so nothing. Blue Another blue flag. flag. Oh, sorry. He never finished his, his commands. He only did one command. He's got three, right? Yeah, this is true. So These guys uh, reloaded and wheeled, so they're chasing Unslopagas. But around. if you moved him over and attached him to those guys, he could move, he move could their shock. He start pulling shock, yeah. You could move him and attach if you care that much about but that. Those guys are out of, out of They're going to be in trouble. They would have to activate on a flag, basically, at the end. So we might be in a better spot right there, just kind of in range of everybody. Yep, highlands. But he's not attached to anyone? I guess not. He's just in there commanding. So if you jumped into the orchard, you could target him? Apparently. <laughs> you need to attach him to something. <laughs> so his last command, he's going to move somewhere. I'll attach him to these guys. Right, okay. Whew. <laughs> Damn you, Andre. Again, with the helping the rebels. <laughs> well, <laughs> what is helping the rebels? Okay, now. Another if, flag. If you could imagine what. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to activate this guy right here. Okay. Four yes. flags. 
going to shoot on a slope of gas. All right. Oh, come on, Andre, give me some pulls here, man. There's <laughs> nothing but <laughs> rebels. <laughs> actually, the last turn I actually had a little advantage in the flag in the pulls. And other than flags, you've gotten three to one on the uh, cards. Oh yeah. To bring over yeah. The when was that? Right now. <laughs> you got a one, a four, and a six. Oh, He's gotten somewhere. a four. I've got this. I just was going to grab the box. So, oh. so twenty something shots again. Yeah. All right. Needing sixes though. Wait, they were uncontrolled. Did you ever get control with them? Was that required? Yeah, uh, yeah. To wheel or to do anything after that uncontrolled all, you need to actually. They don't. That never happened. Rewind. Never happened. So you can use those four flags to try it again. But it would be un they're still unloaded. That actually, none of that happened. Now. They reload the wheel because they fired actually, one the reload. reload. The four flags was on the. The reload would happen. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you they would automatically give me my do four that. flags back then. Yeah, four flags coming back. Unless you want to use them for somebody else. Yeah, I would do. Okay, so you're going to save them or you're going to use them right now. Pulling another card. He said he's feeling lucky, so that means Tiffin's coming out. No. Red 10, which is that crazy random thing. Crazy randomness. And apparently nothing happens. Actually, I do have to... It's rolling something. A three... Okay. Guess that means nothing? Uh, nothing at the moment. Okay, red flag. Hey, what do I have, one? You got, you're up to one. One flag. Yeah, I can't really do anything with that at the moment. I'm sorry, you pulled it. <laughs> Too slow. Don't five. pull the next one. Wait, I don't have a five. Or do I have a five? Yes, you do. The cannon's finally coming on! The <laughs> cannon? Oh, God, here it comes. <laughs> So Jedediah Jedediah McGillicuddy has come in. That was uh, uh, number five. Blue five was He's suddenly appeared. Uh, first uh, fire. I haven't even checked. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're fine. So first fire, so needing fives. Long range. Yes. Soft cover. Four hits. On Unslopagas. Nothing. Uh, no. Two, two shock. Are they getting side shotted? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think so. But they do take two sh two more shock. So they're up to four shock already. Oh, That's good. Okay. All right, Andre. Next card. Oh wait, I got no bullets. So I got four flags out there. Still got four flags. He attempted to get control with this guy of them. Did not. Waste of four flags, yeah, as Steve said. Tiffin. And the Tiffin will now come out. No, I need a... Uh, anything. A red something. Two. Two. Thompson. A red Thompson. That's the guy in here, so he's going to start searching. Okay. So he's level what? He's level one. Level one. I rolled a four. Okay. So he just uh, is searching. So he's uh, he's doing a lot of searching. He searched the house over here earlier he's, too. He's the, he's the only one taking uh, commands here. That's these guys, my light infantry, who haven't done anything for a long time. I'm gonna fire a volley before I decide what I'm gonna do next. So leading twos, first fire, light infantry, close range. So I missed two. So five hits on you, soft cover. Two shock. Only two shock. Now I got to figure out. I got. Uh, do I reload and just stand my ground and take another volley from you? Do I pull back? I'm gonna pull back. So I'm gonna pull back one action. So they'll move back forward and then they'll use their last uh, move to face back the so correct way. Straight back. Yep. And then they'll use their last um, activation or their action to face forward again, so I'm not getting shot in the rear. But he has to reload, and he needs to move up now to see me, right? So uh, oh, no, because he's with. You still see me? Well, yeah, because you were out of the. It's the same distance. Well, then what's the point then? I'll just stay here and reload then. I was kind of curious. <laughs> well, I thought I would might be out of sight if I move back. <clears throat> Only if you were moving through back. the woods. <laughs> 
Alright, we'll just stay there and reload then. Alright, so next card, Andre. No point in moving. Blue one! Blue one. Okay, so that's this guy. James Bartles. So he's <laughs> got three commands. So that's him, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought that was my... Nah. Yeah, that's Bartles. No flags, because I wasted them. He can pull a shock. <laughs> so, yeah, pull a shock. He's right. down to five. Blue two. Blue two. How does blue even have anything left? I feel like he's gone about three blue times. <laughs> Those are the skirmishers. Jessup. Yeah, that's these guys. He's going to use one of his uh, commands to pull a shock. Tap, or he's going to finish reloading his rifle and fire. So you're going to be... What is that, close range? I can't see. Uh, back a little bit towards me. I can't really see. What are we doing here? Oh, you're <laughs> over 12. You're over 12. We're over 12, all right. <laughs> no like matter we're... how hard you pull on that, it's not going to stretch. <laughs> over 12. It's 18, right, for a rifle? Yeah, you're right. Okay, so it's... Uh, it's regular, right? Yeah. Eating. Oh, hold on. To range. Take my free move. You could. You can. Yeah, if you want to take your free move, go for it. To get within closer range. Now he's within close range. So hitting on threes. So all that bought you one hit. So four hits. And I am in hit soft now. cover. So <laughs> three more shock. They actually are going to start running off here. So I got six now with one, two, three, four, five, six guys. Yeah, actually I'm not quite at the point of involuntary withdrawal yet. I need to have more shock than guys. So next card. Three, blue. Blue, blue something. That's the militia. So you can try and get them under control again. Yeah, what else can they do? Haven't they already gone like three times this No, time? because you made me take them all back. Yeah, but no, he he activated them. All he did he was get them to reload. Them. No, he activated them on four fucking flags and pissed he them missed. away. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we're all adults here. <laughs> well, most of Well, it's for kids, not for kids. I have to specify that now on YouTube. So we're safe to we're safe to curse from now on because I have to say, not made for kids. <laughs> okay. It's all good. So to refresh your memory. Before that guy moved up there, he activated them. Right. We did the whole... He reloaded them. Yeah. Then I got four flags. I got excited. Thought, great, I got 20 shots. Okay. So I wheeled them and fired, and then I had to take it all back. Because I didn't... The four right. flags were unsuccessful. So they've activated twice. Yeah, if that counts as an activation, yeah. Yes, it does. Okay. Because you're trying to get control of them. That's an activation. So what you're trying to do would be activate them three times, and that's not possible in one turn. Okay. But Fair can't enough. you... So couldn't he do a non... He could take shock off or something. Well, yeah, or couldn't sure. he tell them to uh, break apart? No. They're out of control? No. Right. They're but... done. <laughs> They've activated twice already. They're not getting a third time. <laughs> There's no three activations in, a, in one turn. I'm sorry. No matter how many times we try to. Figure uh, red it out. five. Uh, Worthington. That's this guy. Uh, he'll just pull off a couple of shock. Red so we're down flag. to six. Red actually, flag. We're at, we're at six. We're actually down to four. What do we have? How many flags do we have? just pulled two more flags. So I have three now? Yes. Yeah, go ahead and pull. I don't think... Uh, Travis is going for the double activation. Slopagos. And he got it. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't do it with them because they don't have a leader. So I can't activate. So pretty much the only thing I could do with a special activation would be to do... Fire these guys again at them. So not a first fire this time, just threes. One, two, three, four, five hits. Soft cover. Dead, Dead and three nice. shock. Yeah, Check ouch. your leader. First time we said that today. Maybe. No. So a dead and three shock. And I will reload. I've used all four flags. There's just a giant pile of flags over there. And that's it. So next turn. Oh, the. 
I think we forgot the wagons one or two times by now. But Probably. So a 10. Okay. So I think everyone's going to make it off. So they're going to make it off with whatever they have. And the other group, the other wagon had supplies from this building in it. Yep. He made it off. I have officers with uh, multiple. Oh man, I should have activated him with my yes, you core flags. Have. All right. Well, I, I keep saying, stay focused. <laughs> stay focused. You guys keep losing focus. Stay on target. Stay on target. Okay, everybody. Porkins. Think about what you need to do. <laughs> Blue two. Skirmisher again. All right, tap, reload, and fire. So oh, it's uh, we could take the, take the shock, shock off. Then tap, reload, and fire. Okay, so needing uh, threes. Come on in, slope of gas. You're doing good. Ooh, four hits. Wow, four hits on a crap roll like that. <laughs> <laughs> Light cover. Uh, he Two takes more. a couple more shocks, so he's definitely going to fall back. Two inches, which is going to be like that. And a bad thing. And a bad thing. He takes a minus one. He's down to eight. Down to eight, man. Hey, we're tied. Slope of gas. All right. He's doing good, but yeah, he's definitely. Red flag. Getting the attention of the Continentals. Is he down here. to four pins? I thought be. No, I'm up to eight, I believe. Yeah, I'm at eight, eight, eight shock. Ooh, on slope of gas. <laughs> oh, I also meant to. Uh, Were they going to do something? Yeah, they all. Uh, they took off. So they just left the table. Perfect. They didn't bring anything for me. <laughs> you didn't ask them to. Okay, so on slope of gas. On slope of gas, used our one flag, and used his command to take off two shock. They're pretty much. <laughs> Up four. against it now. Blue That's four. Big guy. He, he pulled two shock off these guys and moved this way. An act of desperation. Top two. That's my guy over here. He'll search again. Roll a die. Come on, I haven't got one of these yet. And you're not going to. Man. I need that bonus at this point. Red flag. Red flag. Blue flag. Uh oh. Red three. That's this guy. We're gonna hop the fence and fire a salvo into their backside. Okay. I'm gonna chase him in. Now I'm gonna shoot him. Needing threes. Oh man, one, two, only three hits. But it is doubling shock. Light cover. Four more shock. What are you up to now? Seven. Seven with eight guys. Okay, next card. Blue flag. That's three flags for you, Steve. No, oh, two. two. I'm sorry. And a red four. Greenlee. That's this guy. Greenlee's man of advanced. Only two inches. Then we're going to fire on these guys. In sixes, three hits. Hard cover. Come on, shock. Yes, two shock. I'll take it. Next card, Andre. Red one. Red one? That's Bassford. He's going to run up to the church. Uh, ten inches. Or nine. No, ten. So we'll get to you right there. It's going to take a while for him to get in there. I lose in Slopagas off the edge. Blue three. My force morale is going to plummet. Blue three. Who's that? Uh, big guy. The big guy. So the militia formation tried to regain control and failed again. Blue flag. So that's three. So you could activate an officer. Or not. Big man had uh, these guys pull two shock. Had them turn around and reload. So they're, not, they're now facing ahead. So they're getting hit in the back. Ten. That's... That's 
update the room. Okay. What does that mean? Um, it means... Something good for the Continentals. <laughs> that uh, we actually have to measure. The Tyranid Bio Fleet shows up. <laughs> Start training spore mines down. <laughs> spore mines. Hey, these guys are unloaded, right? Uh, Jump the fence, fired. They get a. F you can't jump the fence on the free move. Uh, Actually, you could use the free move and uh, move to jump the fence. Yes, yeah, so I guess they would be unloaded. Yeah. Because they had to use two to get over the fence, and then they had to use the third one to... This guy just uh, took a bullet. What? You're making shit up now, Andre. So he's just dead? Or do I have to roll for him? Roll for him. Ah, yeah. He's fine. Went right through his cuff. <laughs> right. Okay. No worries. Take a pen, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blue five. Ugh. I can't imagine Steve has anything oh, left to do here. here. <laughs> Steve's still going, so yeah, he's got reload. those guys. Reload and fire. Fire. Okay, so sixes. What level is that? A level one? It's level one, yeah. So nine shots. Needing sixes, and I'm in soft cover. Two hits. Slopagas. Don't take a shock. Yes. <laughs> wow. Damn. And a red flag. I'm do what do I have flag wise here? You got two. Tiffin seems like it's always coming <laughs> late. Man, it's game. coming late. So this I got is, two flags. I think that's the most amazing. I mean, there's a lot of weird shit, but oh, man, the I don't Tiffin know coming out so late is. All right. Uh, these guys are going to. Or should I activate my dragoons? Actually, if I wait till the end, I can activate both of them with this two is flags. True. So. And three and flags. one more unit. Actually, a blue one. Blue That's one. one. Bartles and James. <laughs> James Bartles is picking away. And shock. the Tiffin. No, not the two. I needed the two. Come so I have three you things three I can flags. do. The squad that was here. Moved in here, they're going to start unloading supplies. They should have done that a while ago, but they haven't activated in a long time, those guys. And then my leaderless dragoons moved up. All right, time for red turn. Woo! Four flags, a bunch of cards so I can double activate. And... No. Uh-oh. Oh. Another is flag. It, it, it is. is. And so was it these guys or the dragoons? Six, six on the movement. Step out, lads! What that A mean? spring in your step, and may add one d six of movement in the. Oh, that wasn't what I thought it was. The unit has a spring in its step and may add 1d6 of movement immediately. Of course, I'm up against the fence, so what does that mean? I can't move 1d6 over a fence. It means uh, you crash into the fence and your horses break their <laughs> legs and break through. <laughs> All right, then, whatever. <laughs> Red 4. Greenly. That's this guy again. So we're going to move up and. So they moved up and fire, so they're going to reload and fire, I guess, at these guys. I want to move up and get a shot on them, but I won't be able to move and fire this turn. So we'll just reload here and fire. Even sixes. One hit. hit. Come on, shock. Oh. I call that a four. So nothing then. Oh no, soft cover because you're out cover. in the field, yeah. Hard cover. Well, you've been calling this soft cover because I'm shooting through it. Well, I was thinking I'm when calling you're... this hard cover. Yeah. Okay. Fine. We usually say you have to be within a certain distance of the fence, but mm -hmm. I don't like the idea. A lot of people are like, "Well, if there's any fence anywhere between you and the you target, are, that's it's like, well, there's a guy like 24 inches away from the fence." <laughs> you know what? I'm I, shooting I, I, over. I would, I would be that's okay crazy. with that if it was consistent, but I've been even getting soft cover on these guys every time I shot at them. Oh, yeah, the uh, plus one for their. Uh, Oh, is that because they're in the open? Cover? Yeah, they get plus one because they're um, small teams. Small teams. Um. Or no, they're. Uh, 
They're skirmishers. <laughs> skirmishers are well, these always... Well, are skirmishers too, right? Right. Okay, so tick soft cover. Yeah, so that's a... You got one hit, right? So it'd be a shock. So you got a point shot. Yeah, okay. so it'd be I'm two sorry. shots. I misunderstood. What two you points because you're getting hit from behind. Misunderstood. All right. And the Tiffin. What? I know. Okay, Did so you know that you could get the Tiffin in the first 12 draws? So we both have the same amount. And we the same force of eight. So we roll off. Mm. So you go first. So These guys are going to activate first. So tap, reload, or whatever. Oh, actually, I do both, right? Because there's two fives. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you go and then I go. And then you go oh. and then I go. So we alternate. Well, in that case, let's do those first. Okay, so, so it'll be five shots. Four shots, right? I think five. You got seven oh, guys seven. minus uh, Roger. two for the five shock. Needing Looks like three hits. fours. Yeah, three hits. So I'll be in hard cover. Uh, one dead. So why I lost hard, a man. Why is it hard cover? Because I'm a skirmisher and soft cover. Okay. Skirmisher is always one level higher. So you got a dead and a pin? Uh, just okay. a dead. But I am down to five guys left. Um, has a uh, Unslopagas activated yet this turn? No. And you're unloaded, right? Yeah, I got to reload. Okay. Has they they've activated? Haven't they? Uh, no, nobody. Nothing's. There's you got a red four. <laughs> Greeley's the only one that's activated. Wow. Okay. First thing I'll do is I'll just activate Hunt, and he'll reload and fire. And be unloaded again. So need threes. <sighs> Two hits. Soft cover. Point of shock. So you're back up to six shock and I'm unloaded. So you get to do something else now. Now I'll shoot these guys. Now these guys will fire it in the slope of the goss. There's five. Seven guys? No, seven shots. But I got minus four two. shot. Minus two. So five shots. Uh, needing threes. You're within 12. I don't think mm -hmm. we're too over 12. Yeah, but I moved up. Oh, yeah, so four. Okay. So four and soft cover. Nothing. Uh. <laughs> and then I'm going to move my my uh, dragoons are going to hop the, the fence here. So they're going to move five. So they'll move five inches up into the orchard at a walk. All right, this game is getting quite long. So what we're going to do is we're going to play one more turn and then we'll try to make a decision on the fly who won. Um, yeah, so last turn. So if you got something to do, Steve, now is the time. The great battle of the orchard has <laughs> it's, uh, come to be known. Take okay. down the big man. Blue three. That's the militia. So they're going to try to gain control. They have not gained control yet. They still don't. So the uncontrolled militia are just blasting away at nothing. <laughs> this is why we don't like militia. I mean, they're good if you can just line them up and tell them to start shooting that direction. That's Red in Slopagos. Oh, uh, man. What can he do? He'll take, take, a take a shot. He'll take a shock off. How about that? <laughs> Red flag. Maybe that light cover will save him. Red flag. Red 10. Red 10. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh no. Is another guy going to get shot? Uh, I got to think about it. A red flag came out. Red a flag tiffin. and a tiffin. Oh, so I get two things. All right. We're going to do our assault. So we're just going to assault that unit with both flags just for fun. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we get some uh, VPs for that. So we'll start with the, uh, yeah, we'll start with the Dragoons. I'll go into a canter. Say they're in an orchard, they can canter through. So we definitely make it for them. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll count up the dice. So just for fun, we're going to charge. He's going to get six dice total after everything. Even fives and sixes. Take three. three. So I'm going to get 11. Even fives and sixes. One, two, three. <laughs> we tied. Oh my god. <laughs> I double the dice of him and I still tied. So we each lose three, which is a lot worse for me than it is for you. So check your leader. It's not my leader. It's not your leader. So, 
Let's see what happens here. Draw. Fight again unless one side retires from shock. Actually, you got six shock now with five guys. True. So you're going to actually retire from shock one inch. So, uh, involuntary withdrawal, so a bad thing for you. I'm guessing this is how it works here. Minus one. So you're down to seven. And then you just fall back, I assume. Halfway over the path. <laughs> I already put you back an inch, but... <laughs> I was right on the fence. Yeah, no, okay. I, I moved you back up against the fence. All right, I was then. against the fence. Oh, All right. well... <laughs> well, that'll be it. The fence we'll, keeps moving. We'll call it now. Uh, so we'll have to come... We'll figure out what happened, and we'll come back and wrap it up. So it is a draw. After all this time, it's a draw. Mainly because we don't have enough time to finish. Um, as it stands now, I had 11. I think Steve maybe had... Four. Well, he Eight. said four. Andre said like 12. Well... He was counting these buildings as... Because Steve's objective was to not let me destroy the buildings. Which I didn't. But he technically never have, got up to them. But he well, could have over time. He, You didn't destroy them. The goods or documents are still in there. Right. Meaning they're captured by Steve. Assuming so, he could drive me out of the town. Yeah, well, you get another eight points if he doesn't drive you out of the town. So, yeah, but I think yeah, that's it's it basically if he time. can't take, drive you out of the town, it's a victory for you. Yeah, and I think he could have. I mean, I didn't really have a lot I, in the town. I, I think he could have too, but he turned around and tried to just uh, drop your force morale yeah. taken out in Slopadas. Yeah, if he would have fled, he would have a uh, prominent leader. Routing would be too bad thing on leader routes, which is like. Well, the ultimate bad thing. <laughs> yeah. Leader routes by itself is bad uh, twice. So I could have dropped down to the end of the range of fours between the... You'd, you'd have probably dropped to a five. You'd have been right on the cusp. I think a four because it's not only the leader routes, it's the the team breaks or the withdrawal that it, I would have to roll for that too. Yeah. it. I mean, it could have put you over the edge. It, uh, it, could, have, it could have dropped me a big time. It's, it's really... I mean, it's... Calling this game. a draw is not a big stretch. Travis had enough points that he could have won it, and especially if we continued going, emptying out the church, and you know he really could have cleared out the basically the entire town except for these two buildings, which um, would, I would say that would be a uh, a British victory. So yeah. if, if anything, I I tend towards. British victory here. Slight victory. Minor victory. Mostly just because um, Travis could get the uh, church at the moment. If Steve was in a position where he could uh, get in Slopagas off and actually uh, push Travis to where he didn't have time to search and pull the documents out of the church, then I think Steve would have had the slightly upper hand. But. Well, it was fun. I mean, yeah, I like oh, Andre yeah. said, we, uh, both Steve and I, as usual, kind of just <laughs> ignored the objectives. And just, I want to kill I'm something. Gonna shoot. <laughs> well, and I, and, I, and I think what that comes from is the, uh, for me, the pin dynamic <laughs> makes it a lot harder to go chase objectives. Because if I'm running across the field to try to get to an objective and I get pinned out, or I have a small team that gets. Well, you're talking five. Bolt action now. <laughs> but you, you know what I mean. You get you get so many pins on you, you're ineffectual. Shock, yeah. So this team, for example, I, I was planning to run into the barn, but then I've got these squads that basically can just put pins on them at at nauseum, and then a squad appears putting pins on me like crazy in the back. And I think the last time I lost this game horrifically, it was from driving getting my force morale on one oh, skirmish yeah. unit. I lost like eight force morale yeah. points. <laughs> and so, worst so, case scenario. Yeah. Why would I? Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's legitimate because that is usually how these games are won and lost out of the book scenarios. But this not being a book scenario, I had it balanced more to where the win conditions, well, like I, you know, you were, you know, the initial reaction when I said, well, I think Steve won was, what? <laughs> um, well, it's, there's still a ton of uh, munitions and supplies and documents in the town. And... There is. 
and uh, Travis didn't burn them down. He didn't collect them and haul them off with him. So, well, I did move guys into here to collect those. My wagon was coming around. I collected these. I collected the important documents. I collected documents out of here, and I was going to get more. Yeah, yeah. So you did get most of them. So I mean, out of the, I got four buildings. This yeah. one was empty. Or otherwise, obviously, yeah. I would have been working on that one too. But you, you know, you didn't get to three of the buildings. So four out of the. Uh, seven buildings but yeah so on, buildings. honestly um i didn't put enough thought into whether i put supplies or documents where and i could have balanced that a little better um but overall i don't think it was a horrible dynamic the uh, other thing is um getting travis you know we kind of had to fudge it a little to get you up into here um yeah. when you've got troops, uh, you know, chasing others onto the board. I honestly thought that you guys were going to crash into each other a little bit off the board. I thought there was going to be some exchange of fire off the board. <laughs> How the hell would I do that? Um, yeah. I'll just start rolling, guys. Wait, what's happening? You're fighting over there. <laughs> there there's a battle down over there. Um, but I, I really expected it in the mid game it actually was going exactly like i thought it would travis was trying to figure out how to search and use his men to load stuff and be doing all the things he was supposed to be doing and keep the rebels at bay and steve was doing a really good job moving up until slope well until really us. In Umslopagas, in Kosikas was your ally. He's killed. I guess that was He's the dead. two the two things from a from a game design standpoint. I, I think having the having a skirmish unit appear behind you is that, gonna, that's going to completely interrupt your forward momentum. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then also I think I think maybe make come in on the table edge. I did wait about nine turns for you to move up though Steve <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that you did all, not have time I got all congested in here I couldn't, couldn't get through it but a if, timely if you would have knew that did he know that it was possible that someone might pop up behind him oh no okay because but if he knew that he might have kept someone kind of well uh, skirmish you know, other, other, time other through. than the fact that you know it's a battle and anything could happen and you know just from the random stuff that happened in the last game which you know, there wasn't quite as much hiding stuff and, you know, trickery. Last time, Steve had more of it because he was coming in. This time, Travis had a little more because you actually were able to have some stuff on the board. But you didn't use it. Uh, I kind of envisioned that these guys were going to, you know, pop out and blast away at somebody's <laughs> flank as uh, they were marching by in column or something. No, I would like that. Well, anyway, yeah, this video is getting very long at this point. So no, it's already gotten. Anyone very long. who's still sticking around to the end here, uh, you know, more power to you. <laughs> but it was fun. I like these Sterling games. It's fun coming in and not knowing what the hell is going to happen uh, or what the other person is trying to do. So and the map looks great. The map looks fine. It's kind of I think that the was the highlight of the whole game. Was the first never time we had played a map a, like this. We've never played a game of sharp practice with lots of buildings. Yeah, I would like to try another game, but we're more of a traditional lineup and fight through this and have just individual groups running around just shooting at each other. It'd be kind of fun. So, anyway, so Road to Sterling 2, the town of Sterling. Uh, we'll say it's a draw, and Andre has another year to write another one. <laughs> the annual game. Or maybe he could do it even sooner. Or maybe I'll just uh, uh, come up with. A different concept and uh, this might be uh, the end of the, the Sterling series hard to say <laughs> okay so we'll let it go at that and uh, as usual check out our Facebook group and our patreon page and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time